Well, it really should be a night of football to look forward to here at the home of Manchester City. I'm the match commentator Derek Ray and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson. And we're getting down to the wire in the UEFA Champions League. Tonight, the first leg of the semi-final coming right up. It is Manchester City against Atletico Madrid. Well, this is what the Champions League is all about. Some of the world's best players, two excellent teams and a great stadium. Let's hope we're not disappointed. And a look at the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson stands between the posts. Kyle Walker plays with Joao Cancelo in the fullback positions. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And here are the starters for Atletico. Jan Oblak stands between the posts. Jose Maria Jimenez plays with Stefan Savic in central defence. Rodrigo Javier de Paul starts alongside Koke in central midfield. And so to the forwards, Luis Suarez starts alongside Angel Correa. So following the deflection, a corner kick coming up here. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, it was pretty straightforward for the goalkeeper. Well, Kevin De Bruyne, one of the complete midfield players in the modern game. Stuart, what do you expect we'll see from him this time around? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays little one-twos around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner. He could be the key to unlocking this defence. Foden. Rodri. He's got the right idea with that pass. Ball is loose. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. It's got to be. Nicely saved. Well, that was a top save. I can't believe that didn't go in. City pushing forward with options available. And behind it's gone for a corner. <laughs> and short it is. Well, here's the replay, and it has been coming. They've played some great football in this game, and they fully deserve this goal. saw his pass intercepted Silva well visionary passing you can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it booking it to come you would think and a yellow card it's going to be Stuart yeah the ref's got that right it's a yellow card all day long
Luis Suarez. Correa. Showing considerable guile. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. Patient build-up at the moment. Can he get them level? And that's it, a goal for Atletico. Beyond the goalkeeper, Atletico on terms. Well, here's the replay, and you just have to admire the patience of the passing as they look for that defence-splitting ball. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. Grealish getting forward Joao Cancelo Foden and it's Gabriel Jesus the ball with Rodri now let's see what they can do here Rodri excellent passing Joao Cancelo, defensive efficiency personified. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Can they keep it going? Looks as though they might make real progress on the counter-attack. Not so. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Laporte. And so the half-time... Second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway. Rodri. Foden. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. And yellow it is. A booking. Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. De Bruyne, Gabriel Jesus, and it's in! The back in front, stunning scenes here! Well, that was a fairly easy finish in the end, but he still had to take it. He won't mind how they come, though. to get into an attacking gear. Suarez. Good tackle. Walker. On to Jesus. Foden. And he's in. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. 3-1 the score. Registering 
And that's great work to keep it in play. Foden. Decided to come in from the flank. Could be. And it's come off the keeper. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Well, the keeper deserves a lot of credit. That was a fine save, wasn't it? Rodrigo Javier de Power. And here's Lamar. Jesus. De Bruyne now. Just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. Grealish. Gundogan and Grealish De Bruyne oh he's gone for goal and the referee spotted the infringement and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace A change in the offing for City. <laughs> oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. De Bruyne. Sterling. It's still alive. Well, good defending, clattered out of there. Well, they won't come much closer than that. It's a matter of inches from being a really good goal. And De Bruyne in a useful-looking position, but will there be an end product? But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Counter-attacking very much an option. Marcos Llorente. Suarez and unable to keep possession just 10 minutes to go Foden Walker now Gundogan he's got to score and a goal to put the final stamp on it that will do it Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well-balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Savage. Here is Vass. Lamar. Koke. Daniel Vass. Griezmann. Koke with it. Well, three minutes of stoppage time added on here. Ederson, wonderful goalkeeping.
And Manchester City will go to their bench. Over it comes. It might still be problematic. Well, they can keep possession now. And there goes the final whistle. Manchester City will carry a lead with them into the second leg of this tie. Yeah, and what a performance it was. You can see the confidence in these players. The belief has been growing with every game. This tie's not over yet, but they must know, barring a major upset, they're just 90 minutes away from the final now. And the shining light this evening, no doubt about it, Bernardo Silva. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too.